Hello and welcome back to the Wellbeing Challenge. So in the recent past video which was released on 31st October, titled as the next pandemic is coming, it received a lot of love from all over the world. But with that came comments like this is a fear-mongering video, fear-mongering at its finest and whatnot. Cut to today, India has recorded total active 4,200 new COVID cases of a new variant known as the JN1 variant. So basically the last video was not a fear-mongering one, but something as a warning and awareness about inevitable coming up. So what is this JN1 variant? Should we be scared? How did it come up? Should we be taking another booster dose? And if yes, how, when, and what next? We'll find answers to everything. And without any further delay for that, let's dive in. Okay, so during the recent COVID mayhem, which was devastating and disturbing for the entire world, the dominant variant was something known as BA.2.86 or the Pirola virus of the Omicron family. This was the predominant variant around the world. Let us first understand the basic structure of virus. Now, as you can see on the screen, the projections on the virus body are known as protein spikes. Now, what happened is the structure of one of the protein spike chains, or scientifically speaking, it got mutated in the Pirola virus group and a new variant called the JN1 was born. Now, due to this very small change, the new JN1 variant has got the capacity to bypass the immune system and spread very rapidly. So, the first case of the JN1 variant in India was detected on December 8, 2023 in the Karakulam area of the Thiruvananthapuram in the state of Kerala. From this very day, it has been spreading quite a lot and the daily count has been increasing almost every day. As I record this video today, that is 26 December 2023, the highest spike in cases has been reported from the Goa state of India. Oof. I hope my new year Goa plans are not affected again. Anyways, one important point to note here is that the deaths in these cases have been reported only in people with comorbidities and vulnerable population and not solely because of the COVID infection. The symptoms of this new COVID infection due to JN1 variant are very mild. You'll suffer from fever, runny nose, sore throat, mild stomach upset, plus minus breathing difficulties. But if you have comorbidities or if you belong to vulnerable population, like if you are in old age or very small infancy group, then obviously the symptoms might get severe. Another major factor to consider here is winters. During winters, the seasonal flu always go up in number all across the world and COVID is no exception. So that is another major contributory factor in spike in the number of cases due to COVID or seasonal flu as well. So since symptoms are mild enough, you should not be worried much, but obviously you should take care. Now how to take care? Please click on the link over here. I've explained everything in detail in that video, so please go through it. And in short, I'll tell you, please do not panic, but please be cautious. Now let's take some common question and answers. Number one, is JN1 variant deadlier? The answer is no, but if you have comorbid conditions, please be careful. Number two, should you be wearing face mask? Is it compulsory? The answer is again no, but it should be preferred in crowded places. Number three, are there any travel restrictions yet? Fortunately, no. Number four, are vaccines effective against this variant? The answer is yes, but it will just reduce the severity of your disease and not prevent you from that. And there are no guidelines by the government yet on that note. One important question, is another wave of COVID expected? The answer as of today is no, but yes, the number of cases will go up because the testing will increase, the surveillance will increase, and yes, winter is coming. Now, one very common question that might come in your head is, should you be going for a booster dose? Well, according to the expert, that is Dr. N.K. Arora, no additional dose of vaccine is needed against this sub-variant at present. But, 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 I would go ahead and definitely take that booster dose because I have consulted my physician and he is fine with it. Should you be taking it? There's no harm. But the best way is to consult your family doctor or your physician before deciding to go for that jab. So share this video for the right information to reach the masses. And for any queries, drop in your questions below and let's get talking. So until next time when we meet again, take care, mask up if needed and wish you all a very, very happy new year 2024. See you around.